YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the vlogs. Today we're going to talk a little bit about training on the off season. We're just about to head down to the club with Papi Yam. We had a decent night last night, didn't we? Yes. Only woke up once or twice. Just getting used to his surroundings. But now it's time to get to the club and start training. Are oh, you? Yeah. And we've made it to the club. Lots of noises for Jan to try and get used to, but we're gonna hop on the erg and then we'll try and talk about sort of off-season training, like I mentioned the other day, about maybe cross-training and relaxing and enjoying what we're doing. But we need to go get changed, do a little bit of rolling out and then get on the erg for a little bit of a time lapse. So let's get to it. Easiest way to do it is experiment. So you should be able to have a sort of conversation while you're doing it. A little bit out of breath, but not too much. And then a harder way to do it is to get your lactate levels done, but that needs some specialized equipment and whatnot. So figuring out doing experimentation by yourself, looking at your previous scores, splits, heart rates, and you can sort of figure out where you're supposed to be. But now, Yam accompanied me during that 20K. Yes, didn't you? Oh, he's a good puppy. Eh? Yes. So that's pretty good. Letting them get used to the air. Let them get used to working out. His tecker's on there, yeah. His, te his tecker's doing some work. But now, as always, after a session, we have to go a few laps, so let's get to it! And we've made it into the crew room for our fueling up after the session. Because remember, food is fueling with our breaded egg toast. Yam doesn't want any. But now, time to fuel up. And we've made it to the cricket. Is that a field or a pitch? Yeah, cricket club. Club. <laughs> we've got Yam Court. We're practicing some cricket and playing with Yam. Oh yeah. But Yam's trying to access his food while tangling me up. Right, Ed, mind out the way. In a bag. Oh yeah. What are you doing? Hey? Let's throw you out. here behind the nets <laughs> going to just get some food after a little bit of playing with yam as well he's all tired out so we'll be heading back after some food because remember food is fuel and we've made it into the crew room to fuel up because remember food is fuel we've got some delicious spaghetti bolognese on this. Not actually too hot of an afternoon, so it's not hotter in the sun and we're not sweating while we eat the food fuel. And we've got Yam down here having a nap, just listening to the meandering on, watching some countdown, eight out of 10 cats countdown. What was that, Rich? Yam getting recovery. Yam getting. I think Yam may actually be bigger than he was yesterday. So I'm gonna try and track his size somehow. 
but I don't really want to take the same picture every day because then you get sort of like, man, I didn't take the same picture, man. And then, was going to be going to a puppy party this evening, but unfortunately, since I've not been to the vet with Jan to get his checkup yet, I can't go to the puppy party. But now it's time to recover like Jan is. So let's get to it. And we've made it to Mary's place with Larry. Larodino. Oops, and he's trying to teach Yam about being a dog. But he seems a lot more interested in Yam than Yam does of him. But a little bit of recovery after fueling up, just chilling out, enjoying the weather, enjoying the chilled out time. So let's watch the puppies play. And we've made it back to the house for the end of the day. And as you can kind of, well, this is Yam's blanket, but as you can tell from today, yes, there was a 20K training in there, but like I said earlier, I was doing it at an intensity where even, well, I did, I blew a little bit, but even though I haven't erged in a while, I knew that that pace and that heart rate, especially if I kept that heart rate right now, it's going to be a slower split, but it meant that the intensity wasn't really high and I felt that I was able to keep it going and enjoy it a bit more since if I kept my normal split that I'm able to do at UT2 when I'm in full swing, I would probably not enjoy it and blow my doors off completely. And then when I did some cricket stuff with Ed and Rich, and it's just that bit of variation because remember variation is one of the keys to motivation and it just helps like we we spent a couple of hours just hitting the ball throwing the ball and it just like we're out there working out like my my hamstrings and quads are actually quite sore from that um, and then we can start working out different things as yam comes down the stair oh here he is look he's learned to walk on the stairs very well hi yam have you stuck your head in the yes he has Good boy. I think he stuck his head in the water bowl, so he's all drooly. But it's all about training when you're. Come on, Jan. When you're training during the off season, whenever it is, whether it's summer or winter, whenever your sport, whenever your season is off season is, it can be it can be tiresome training by yourself. It can be boring. And it's just finding those things that make it not tiresome and not boring. So for me right now, as I'm trying to recover a little bit from the high intensity racing stuff, dropping the intensity down, that's one way of making it less tiresome, both mentally and physically. And also doing different things like going out and hitting a few, hitting a few balls in cricket. Just something a bit different. I've never done that, but Ed and, Ed and Rich are the experts in that field and of the three of us anyway. But it just makes it that little bit different. And like I said, it's about having fun in the off season. And like I said in the other video of post Henley Royal Regatta, yes, I did 20K in the air today, but uh, that's not gonna demotivate me, but you just have to make sure over time. Oh, he's struggling to come down the stairs behind me there. You can do it, Jan. Oh, he's, oh the, the lead's caught in the, in the door. Goodness me, Jan. No wonder you couldn't get down the stairs. That's a good boy. Okay, now, there he go. There he comes there. I don't know if you can actually see him. But, like I said, you want to make sure that you're not going stale on whatever workout you're doing, especially if that's the workout you're doing. So, I don't want to go stale on the rowing machine or on the water now, because I know a lot of that will be coming up later. But if you, can, if you feel like, if you do lo loads of rowing and loads of erging during the off season and you can still keep going in the winter and the other main parts of the season, 
then by all means fire away um, and I know kind of where I sit on on the scale there but it is completely individual and you need to know what your sort of where you are on that scale but now going to play with Yam a bit more as he's got a bit of grass on his face but he's waking up a little bit more he, I, he's definitely bigger than yesterday um, so that's Yam uh, if you haven't met Yam yet this is Yam the great dame puppy hello yes he's very interested in the camera strap and as always Yam Squad remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button and I'll see you in the next episode oh yeah